Yo, yo, yo! Oh. oh my goodness, it is early. It's 4.30 in the morning, boys. But it is early, but I, I, I'm excited. My buddy Cameron from Wing Chaser Outdoor, it's a guide service here in central Kansas. He invited Brad and I out for a little flooded cornfield action this morning, boys. And let me tell you, there's probably five to 600 teal on it, like he said. Uh, there's going to be quite a few of us hunting, standing in this flooded corn, going to be in waders. So today, look what I'm wearing. I haven't showed you guys these yet. Oh yeah, we got wader sweats in. We call them wader pants, wader sweats. The bottoms are, got big cuffs on them, and let me tell you, they are extra, extra thick. So, they're basically like a thermal, thick sweatpants. There are ducks waiter sweatpants. If you want to pick them up, I'll link them down below in the description. Go click on it. Go pick you up some before the cold weather is upon us. But yeah, like I said, it's going to be like six, seven, eight, nine, ten guys there on this till hunt. It's going to be absolutely insane. Uh, Brad's going to actually operate this camera a lot of the time. Um, we're going to just pass it back and forth trying to get really good footage on this camera. So hopefully that turns out good for y'all. Usually I've only, you know, till hunted here in September, you know, on public marshes, public wetlands, stuff like that. But this is going to be a different hunt. Let's hope it works out. We're going to go ahead and get on the road because we do have about a 45 minute drive. Oh, there we are. Oh, we're here nine man till hunt. We're sitting in some Milo. Got a little hole out in front of us. Probably seen, I don't know, five, six hundred birds get off of here when we pulled up. Cameron's got the juice. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. Well, whoa, hey, hey. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> That was well, ridiculous. Yeah, that, that, that was ridiculous. Try that shooting line, I don't know. What group was that, like a group of 30? Yeah, probably. Probably a group of 30 just balled in right. Just came right in, right at shooting light, like on the dot shooting light. They all cracked off. I wasn't ready. I was trying to hit the GoPro on Brad. Brad has a camera, by the way. He's like, oh, God, he's trying to get it on. So uh, It's going to get exciting here. we got nine dudes spraying at small birds. It's going to get interesting. Bang, bang, double tap that boy. Well, nope, they're not. that was my first bird down. Oh yeah, there they are. Oh yeah, they're coming. Beautiful morning. Other than the mosquitoes are about to carry me off. Coming. Oh God, yeah. Place, place, place. Place. Oh yeah, we got a good group, about 10 to 12 right here, baby. Get ready, boys, get ready, boys. Not sure, sure, sure if I hit you. Right front. Woo! Woo! That boy did. Second duck down for Bob, boys. I called him to try to catch that and I was like. This is perfect. This is prime catching weather right here. <laughs> Well, man, I dropped a long one over here. I mean, a long one. Dog's having trouble finding it, so go out here and see if we can find her. That group did it dirty. Oh my goodness. Oh, there we go. There we go, there we go. Beautiful morning. Beautiful morning. Yeah, this little hole, this little water hole is tiny. Quail. Yep, little quail got up. Literally, it's only like 100 by 100, 100 by 200 water hole. It is, uh, they're getting in here tight, to say the least. So this morning we watched about, I don't know, it's probably four or 600 birds get off of this little bitty pool. Just a crate. We got nine guys on a little, little bitty pool of water. It's awesome.
this guy. Don't mind me. Here we go, here we go, group of four. Four pack, boys, four pack. Oh, last shoot up, bang, bang. That was a long shot, I can't believe I got that. That was a really long shot. Three birds down. That was a long shot. The last bird I shot was the last bird going down and she is way out here, way out here. We have had two groups do it really well. The first group, I'm not sure how much we caught it on this camera and this camera, but the second group, wow, that shot turned out amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like these teal hunts, now I, I know I've been doing the public hunting a lot, but if you like these private hunts, let me know down below. Drop a big old thumbs up for this video. And if you guys are looking to book here in Kansas for a duck hunt, get a hold of my boy Cameron at Wing Chaser Outfitter. He's got availability for a bunch of duck hunting, so. Hit them up right here on Instagram. It's the best way to get a hold of them. When there's dub, you shoot them. Old Dusty McSchmallen. <laughs> This is fun. I got. I gotta say, this little hole here. I mean, they get in here. When they get in here, they're here. I mean, that's why we got nine dudes. Cameron planned this hunt because when the birds get in here, they get in here tight. He was like, "Man, we're gonna take one whack at it. That one whack, it's gonna be blown out. I'm not gonna be able to hunt again. We might as well hunt it hard." So, I've never done a nine-man teal hunt, but as you can see, we're fitting to have a pile at the end of this deal. Yeah, I told you. Woo! Good yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> it really, 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 really shut down. We haven't shot a bird for, I don't know, it's been well over an hour. They came early. They came early. They came hot and they came quick. What dates you got open for duck? Um, All of November, two dates in December, and that's basically it. So they're filling up. If you guys want to come to Kansas, get on some duck action, teal, big ducks, whatever. Get a hold of the man. We'll kill him. Seriously, you'll have fun. They like, they, they're just like me. They like to hoop and holler. They like to have fun. So if that's what you want to do, get a hold of Cameron. Go down this description below. I'll link his Instagram, his email. Go check him out. Oh, there she is. The bonus jewels. Well, me and Bradley are back on the road. It was a quick morning. It happened fast. We knew it was going to happen fast. Uh, the flooded sheet water fields like this. Uh, this is September field hunting. That, that's what we have to remind ourselves here is September. Um, I don't know if I've ever hunted a field in September. So you know what I mean in September. Lucky to even do what we did. We ended up shooting 18 total with nine guys. Up here where we're at, like I said, we drove 45 minutes north. Up here they have a lot of sheet water in the field. So when you bust one spot off, all they're going to do is fly a mile or two and just find another field with sheet water in it. So that's kind of the bad part of hunting this sheet water. You really just get one hunt, one go at it, and then it's done. But 18, nine guys, what we had like two or three volleys come in, didn't even have really any singles or doubles come in. So really not bad shooting for what actually decoyed for us. Your sign is so big and I'm so close, I can't see the whole thing. Dude, I only want to do some biscuits and gravy. You want biscuits and gravy? Yeah. I'll take with a Dr. Pepper as well, and that'll be it. That's it. I just said that'll be it. Thank you. Oh, well, we are back home. And let me tell you, this morning was a long drive and a really fast hunt. It was okay. A flooded Milo teal hunt. 
I was game for it. I was like, I don't care how it turns out, I'm gonna go. And I'm glad we did because it turned out pretty well, 18 birds. Yeah, the ratio isn't that great, but for three volleys, it's actually really good. We didn't have any doubles, any singles do it. So, good shooting, boys. And if you guys like the footage of this big camera being run, shout out to Brad, by the way, for uh, filming for me. If you guys like it, drop me a big old thumbs up and I'll try to get more footage on the big camera. One of my goals is to really focus on running this big camera more, but that means I have to have help from someone else filming me hunt. You guys get the point. But I, I know you guys are really liking the duck gear, just like these sweats. We have them in stock, I told you guys earlier. The waiter sweats are in, and let me tell you, they're thick and they're warm. I'm gonna be wearing them all winter long under my beds, my waders, everything, because they are extra thick, extra nice, I, I'm serious. But just like the sweats, I'm not sure what all you guys have seen, because I have a lot of new subscribers, oh my goodness. If you're new here, Thank you for subscribing and welcome to the channel. But with having a lot of you new guys here, I don't know if you've seen the Cupped Ducks hoodies, but they are fresh. So if you're interested in any of this Ducks gear, I'll link it all down below. Check it out and go pick you up something, especially a hoodie before that cold weather gets here. And if you guys have any awesome ideas for designs for hats, for shirts, for anything, drop it down below because I love your guys' comments. A lot of comments for videos I use from you guys, so I'm like, you know what? If you guys wanna help with an idea of a design for ducks, drop a comment down below, and if it's awesome, it'll get used. But thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate all your guys' support. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to be here doing what I love day in and day out. So thank you, I, I greatly appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't, we'll see you on the next one. I know it was a short video, not a lot of hunting going on. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.